All right, I wanna start this video by saying I'm not a doctor, I'm not licensed in anything, I'm just a guy who had PVCs a couple times, not a couple times, but for a week straight, two separate occasions now, okay? And I wanna make a video sharing my experience of what I did to make them disappear. Um, so I've done a lot of it's hard. When you jump on Google, you start looking around. Man, it's crazy. They can go both ways. They go both ways on like every single subject you can imagine. So it's just like fear, 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 fear. And the only thing is the more you fear, the more they come. The more they come, the more you fear. So it's it's just like a crazy cycle. So anyway, a little backstory here. A couple years ago, I uh, got strep throat. You know, I got strep throat. I was like, man, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go to the doctor. I go to the doctor, what do they do? They give me some uh, antibiotics. Here I am, I'm taking some antibiotics, hopefully to feel better. A Couple days later, I start having these PVCs. What are PVCs? PVCs are premature ventricular contractions. So it's basically, I'm gonna do an impression for you. Your heart's beating like this, boom, 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 boom. It's like that. And I had them non-stop, like all day, every day, like six, seven, a minute, non-stop, just going crazy. I had no idea what was going on. I was like, it's my time, you know. If if you burn twice as bright, you only you only last half as long. I was like, it's just my time, and um, I was a little nervous. So I went to the doctor, and I'm like, hey, my heart's beating all weird. They're like, okay, okay, uh, let's do a uh, EKG on you. I said, okay, let's do an EKG. Uh, your EKG came back fine. Um, we're gonna hook you up with a with a halter monitor to wear around for a week. I was like, okay, cool. Uh, we can't get you one for a week or two. I was like, oh, well, okay, it must not be that big of a deal. And um, so during that time, I'm researching, going down the rabbit hole on Google. I try to use alternatives like DuckDuckGo or just anything else but Google. Look up YouTube, look up, just, just to fill my mind. And along the way, I found out that the uh, antibiotic that I was taking. Am I in focus? Now I'm in focus. Have I been out of focus this whole time? Now I'm off focus. Okay, so the antibiotic I was taking was uh, depleting my vitamins and minerals. Okay, antibiotics and other prescriptions can deplete your minerals and your vitamins and kill off the healthy bacteria in your gut. And I didn't know this kind of stuff. So here I am taking it. And then I'm developing these PVCs that are making me like not feeling pretty on the sketchy side. I'm like, this isn't good. I don't, I don't, my heart's not beating right. I can feel this nonstop in my chest and I'm starting to like freak out, you know? So what did I do then? I started replacing, you know, first I started with the bacteria in my gut. You know, I wanted to replace that antibi or not antibiotics, but like uh, uh, probiotics. Um, I was basically eating sauerkraut and cabbage and uh, um, stuff like that. And then I was like, man, I need to get some uh, coconut water because coconut water has a lot of um, <clears throat> electrolytes in it. And sure enough, while I'm waiting for my Holter monitor, they just disappeared and they didn't come back until about a week ago, a week and a day ago. And then they started again. Um, so what can cause PVCs? I kind of wrote some notes down. Um, stress, not enough sleep, smoking, drinking a lot, you know, being hung over the next day, uh, smoking like synthetic pot, um, coffee, being super amped and like ample amounts of exercise. And I'm like, well, <clears throat> I'm not really doing anything different. 
what what in the heck why am i having these again and they're constant again just like i had them before now i did it go and i had my heart checked out a while ago so i'm like not too long ago so i know my heart's structurally like fine i mean compared to what they tell me but um so I'm like, what the heck? And I started thinking, I'm like, you know, I'm not taking any new prescriptions, anything like that. But then I realized I was like, I've been uh, working out. I've been working out, trying to get healthier. I've been eating healthy. I don't drink anything but water and coffee. So I'm like, is it the coffee? I don't know. I don't know. Um, couldn't really figure it out. And then I was like, well, I have been working out. Well, what does working out do? It makes me sweat. And I sweat and I sweat and I sweat. And then when I'm done working out, I jump on the and go in the sauna and I'm sweating some more. And, you know, sweating causes you to lose your, you know, electrolytes. That's where Gatorade came in. And they're like, yeah, let's sell Gatorade. And the Gatorade can uh, replenish your electrolytes that you're losing. Don't mind all the other red dye and all the other additives we put in there that aren't good for you. We'll, but we'll replace those electrolytes. And that's why I was like, it's the electrolytes. It's got to be the electrolytes. So I immediately got on and started looking for like my own electrolytes drink I can make without, um, without uh, all the crap that Gatorade and those other sports drinks, all the additives that's like absolutely horrible for you. Our whole food industry is completely corrupt. Um, and I found a lady who made a drink that was very similar and I'm going to link it for you in the description. I'm even going to show you how I made mine. And I went out that night. It was two nights ago. Okay. And I got the stuff at my grocery store. I already had a, a majority of it. I just didn't have the potassium chloride. I don't think. Um, and I made it up. I drank one before i think just one yeah i drank one before i went to bed i was still having them the next morning i woke up and drank another one and then i took some magnesium and then i went and did my workout and i came home and i drank another one and then i bought a coconut and i drank some coconut water and then i bought a thing of uh coconut and a cup you know tried to find one without any sugars and stuff in it drank that <clears throat> and um by the, within 24 hours, they like completely went away. And they went from maybe, like I said, like six every minute um, to maybe one in the last uh, like 24 hours, one or two. And sometimes you can't feel them. Like there's a guy I found on YouTube. He's called York Cardiology. Maybe you've heard of him. If you have PVCs, I'm sure you have. But he ran into a guy who had 20,000. He says, the guy with 20,000 PVCs, I'll put that in the description too. And I'm not sure if that was in one day or if that was over a week. Um, but 20,000 a lot. And basically, his he scanned the dude's heart. His heart was fine. And um, the guy didn't even have any symptoms. And he eventually found out that the guy had like sleep apnea. So he put him on one of those CPAP machines and they improved greatly. So if sleep apnea, I guess we'll add that to the list that you can have, uh, if you have sleep apnea, you know, you're not getting enough sleep, so you're gonna have PVCs. But this guy was completely healthy and he was having 20,000 PVCs. He got on the CPAP machine, they went down to I think like 10 or five and they probably got better over time. But he's basically saying, you know, these things, they're very common. Um, and a lot of people don't even know they're having them. So, I want to make this video and just tell you guys that I've had them and I've had them for a week and I've had them like every minute a few times and they're very, they can be very uh, scary and stuff like that. And just maybe this could be something you can consider to, um, if you've been taking any kind of new medicine, any kind of new antibiotics, any kind of pills, any kind of pills or extremely working out not getting enough sleep. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna show you how I made this drink, and um, <clears throat> that's that. So this is the this is what I drank. I've drinking this 
let's see, one, two, three, four times or so within 24 hours. Okay, I just have some distilled water here. And get me a big cup of that. Now I have this stuff right here. Um, it's called new salt. And this is, if you look at the ingredients, the only ingredient is potassium chloride, okay? And it's a salt alternative, but it's the potassium. So I'm just gonna put some of that in there. I have some pink Himalayan salt. Only ingredient is going to be Himalayan pink salt. I have magnesium uh, taurate. Now the other one that I guess was recommended, I'll put it up here on the screen. I didn't have it, but I had these. So that's what I'm using. And basically I just uh, open this pill up and put it in there with the salt, stir everything together and drink it. So I can't really do this one handed, but here, give me a second. Okay, so here's the uh, magnesium. And on this container, it says to take, uh, you can take, let's see, three capsules a day. Do not exceed, um, all right there, do not exceed eight capsules per day. So, um, and then some salt, we'll put in some salt. And we just like that. And I'll go ahead and just start my contraption. And I will drink this. 